The EHC09 color wave gauge has two modes of calibration, the manual two-step calibration and our new AutoCal. Let's go through the procedures for each. First, we turn on the gauge by pressing the F1 button. For this exercise, we're going to be using the DK718 transducer and a carbon steel five-step block, 100 thousandths and 500 thousandths. So we choose our transducer from our transducer list located here, and we press OK. The gauge is asking us to wipe off the couplant. Then it will perform the auto zero function. Now that that's completed, we will do our manual calibration. First, we press the menu button. We highlight manual calibration and we press OK. Now we follow the directions at the bottom of the screen. Couple thin on the 100,000 side. We press the zero button, F2 and we use the up or down arrow key to the corresponding thickness, which is 100 thousandths. Then we press Cal, the F1 button. Next, it's asking us to couple to the thick side of the block and press velocity. We press velocity, the F3 button. Again, using the up or down arrow keys, we get to the known thickness of 500 thousandths. Then it says to press the OK button. If you'll notice at the top of the screen, when I press the OK button, it calculates the velocity and displays it here. Now we can check the block, and as you see, it is calibrated. To do the auto cal, we go to menu OK. We slide down to initial settings, tap OK, and we slide down to cal type. We hit either our left or right arrow key, turns it on to auto cal. If you'll also notice, it shows us the hundred thousandths and the five hundred thousandths thicknesses from our block. We can then hit the F1 back button. We slide up to our calibration, auto. We press OK. And again, we follow the directions. Couple to thin, the hundred thousandths. It beeps. Now it's asking us to couple thick, the five hundred thousandths. And once this is done, you'll notice at the top of the screen, it calculates the velocity and displays it. And as you can see, we are calibrated. If you have any additional questions, feel free to go to our website, danatronics.com, or you can email us at sales at danatronics.com.